and prepare for the day. Liz, this is definitely going to be something that folks are going to be talking about all morning long. Yeah, we kind of have that overcast drizzle right now. A few showers popping up here and there, reducing visibility at times. But really, the big story of the day is going to be the impacts later on this morning and afternoon from a strong line of storms is moving west to east across our area. It is prompting tornado watches until noon for parts of our counties like Baker, Mitchell, Miller, Seminole, Decatur, Grady, Gadsden, Jackson, and Liberty. So those are all our areas. Tri-state basically uh, area that's going to see the potential for tornadoes to form. The ingredients are there for tornadoes to form. That doesn't mean they're forming right now, but it's something to be watching out for over the next several hours. And again, that's in effect until noon. So as we head through the afternoon hours, here's kind of that timing. So 5 a.m. basically now 6 a.m. Uh, that line of storms will be moving through till noon. And that's where we're going to see that again potential for tornado threat. Now noon to 5 p.m. We still are expecting some stronger severe storms possible as it enters that 75 I 10 corridor kind of intersection there before pushing out later on tonight across the southeast side of the Big Bend. Heavy rain likely here. So here is that line of storms now. A lot of lightning associated with this. Some heavy rain. Again, gusty wind. We already have tornado warnings just south of LaGrange as that system enters uh, Georgia over the Alabama line. Our area right now, just a few light showers, nothing severe at the moment. But again, something to really watch out for over the next several hours. This storm is going, this line of storms is going to be pushing across our area slowly and surely, and that's where that gusty wind, hail, and tornado potential comes into play.